Ah, whoa, 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 I gotta hear this. What's up? Yeah, but why are you racist? Why am I racist? Why am I racist? How do you know? You're a racist. How am I racist? I don't know, I'm just saying it. <laughs> That's exactly. So why am I racist? That should be cool to call someone. I know, yeah, yeah. You got, you got to have elders. Do you like Muslims? I love, I love, I love I, Muslims. I, love I, love Muslims. Oh, I, I got good mates who are Muslims. No, no, we do. This is like one of the nicest Christians you can find here. Are Sorry, me? No, no he's not American. No, no. He has like one of the nicest people you can find here. No, I like that. South African. Where are you guys from? Honestly, we're from here, bro. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Nice. My country as well, you know. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking, because you asked him where he was from. So I'm like, alright, I'll ask you where you're from. And that's fair. That's cool. So why are you guys Muslims? Huh? Why are you guys Muslims? I assume you're Muslims. Yeah. I could be wrong. You are Muslims? It's the truth, mate. You think it's the truth? Okay, why do you think it's the truth? Why are you Christian? Because likewise, I think that Christ is truth and that Christ is God. <laughs> because the earliest historical accounts show that the earliest eyewitness testimony says that he was considered to be God. So for us, we just go with the historical approach. But as a Muslim, do you go with the historical approach if you want to know what Isa said? What is the earliest historical eyewitness account of Isa? You don't know that at the same time when, when Jesus... Was Can you ask him my question? No, 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 wait. If you answer my question, I'll ask you a question. Okay, you have to answer. No, 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 wait. Okay, so you're not going to answer. Okay. I asked you, and then you started saying something else, and I said, will you answer my question? And you went, no, 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 wait, 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 okay, all right, now you're explaining the, the answer to my question about how you know that Isa was a Muslim, for example, according to the earliest eyewitness testimony. So you're going to be talking now? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, one second, you find it, let me talk. All right, cool. Crazy. Did you know at the same time, you said that, the, uh, what's it called, the historical yeah. approach is that Jesus was crucified, but yeah, yeah. at the same time, there was a group of people that believed he wasn't crucified. Yeah, the dose test. Yeah, I, well, do you know why they didn't think Christ was crucified? Oh, wait, 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 do you know why they didn't think Christ was crucified? They think they, they thought he wasn't crucified because they thought he was God in every sense. In other words, he didn't have a physical nature. You know what? Can I tell you why? That's why they thought he wasn't crucified. Can I tell you why? It's suspicious the Quran copies that idea. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Be quiet. Did that's you, a, it does say be quiet. Oh, Come on. Let me talk Come on, not, man. Your dimmy, bro. You can't, you can't say that, man. I won't, I won't tell you. Oh, I have some respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am being respectful. You're not letting me talk. I just it's, it's, it's a dialogue, isn't it? You can't just say be quiet. Are you involved? Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll be happy. No, Focus. To one person, isn't it? Ah, right, cool. In the Quran, it says, yeah, it was. It was it was it, it was made to seem like he was oh, crucified. Right. So that's that's why this was even, even a historical book. We have an answer for it. Ah. Made, Judas was crucified. Wait, the Quran isn't a historical document for things in the first century. Yes, it is. Okay, the Bible. If you want to appeal corrects, to things that the Quran are... corrects the Bible in many places. Okay, like wait, it, wait, wait, wait. In the time of Joseph, mm. uh, in the Bible, it says that uh, what's it called? There was a pharaoh, but we know. Oh, that but really, it was okay. a king. So you do. That was discovered. Let okay. me do it. Yeah. The Rosetta Stone that was discovered, we know that there was... Uh, you see, that also just proves the Quran, the Quran if you take it that way. Says, yeah, wait, wait, wait. The Quran talks about a coin. A coin in, in incorrect let terms. Let me finish my point, let me finish my point. Go on then. The Rosetta Stone that was discovered, uh -huh. it proved that the Bible, there was no... F that the Pharaoh dynasty didn't even exist at uh -huh. the time of Joseph. And it was actually a king. The, 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 yes. the, uh, the Quran, says, mate, the yeah. Quran says that the, there was no Pharaoh, there was a king at the time of Joseph. Yeah, yeah. So but it corrects the Bible. Again, if you take that kind of ideology, well. you see, we understand this very easy. It's just no, a comp. You, you listen, just wait, 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 wait. You, you gave, and now we're answering. No, wait, wait, wait. You, 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 you literally gave answer. your point. You said here, the Quran corrects the incorrect belief in the Bible. Yeah. The understanding at the time of Joseph, the pharaohs wouldn't have been known as pharaohs. They would have been known as kings. Yeah, that was the, your point. The now, I can't, exactly. now, let me understand, let me try and explain this to you. We don't think that the Bible has to be taking something in a sense that it's meaning we are fully claiming that this is a pharaoh. Rather, they're using terminology that would have been understood at the time. Now, this same type no, of no, no, this no, no. wait 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 the this wait wait this same type of language that's used in the Bible is also used in the Quran. Because as my friend here just pointed out, so there are coins. He even got the Quran verse. There were descriptions of coins that were not used at that period oh, historically. Okay, okay, so your point is that in the Bible, the person at the time of Joseph was a king and not a pharaoh. We're saying that the reason for that is because it's a linguistic expression used to show the audience. Wait, 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 I'm answering a question. You said to be quiet when we ask questions, right? So the reason why is because it's a linguistic expression, because the people who are reading this at the time of Moses 
refer to the king of Egypt as a pharaoh. So it's just a linguistic expression which is used to familiarize the audience with what the reader says. It's not finished however, yet. However, you haven't gotten the point because we're going to say the whole point. However, if you say that an author cannot use linguistic expressions to do this, the problem you're going to have is that the Quran in Surah 12 about Yosef, Surah 12, Ayah 20, says that they traded dirham which is coins which didn't exist at the time. So by your own standard, the Quran is making an error in that same passage. Okay, that's not true, but let me say one thing. What do you mean that's not true? Okay, can I answer Ali? Go on then. Okay, you said that they're just using terminology just now. Why, why, if, if, that's, if that's the case here, yeah, why in the Bible did they use the terminology as king in many places? They could refer to many people as kings at the time. Probably because the context about different people was different. No, what do you mean? He, if he was a king, the context that should be used is... The not all kings are pharaohs. Yeah, not but all kings not from pharaoh, different so why countries are pharaohs. Because it was familiar to them in that time no, as no, someone no, who ruled no, Egypt as that point. Are you going to address the Surah 12? Familiar, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call someone in, uh, I don't know, the king of Babylonian as okay, a pharaoh. How can something be familiar? We wouldn't use that term. How can something be familiar which has not even existed yet? No what do you mean by that? Okay, no, okay, the Bible wait, dynasty wait. didn't even exist at the time of Joseph. So how can they use? How can it wasn't wrote familiar? by Joseph. It was, it was wrote by Moses, bro. Did but you not know can, that? No, but how can? Okay, they, who who wrote Genesis? I don't know. You told me. Oh, well, they're, they're, a Muslim doesn't know who wrote Genesis. Okay, listen, listen. Not good. Okay, okay according, who wrote Genesis? According to you, do you not know who wrote the Torah? Who wrote the Torah? Who wrote the Torah? According to us, the God. According to us. <laughs> Okay, if if the Torah was revealed to who? Who was it revealed to? To, to Moses. Okay, good. So if Moses is the, well for us he's the author of the Torah, you just say it was revealed to him, right? If Moses authored the Torah, then Moses' audience is who it's talking to. But at the time of Moses, not Yosef, who was uh, years before Moses, at the time of Moses, it was referred to as a pharaoh, hence it's a linguistic expression. No, now, you're yet to answer the question about Surah 12, Ayah 20, when it uses the currency Dirham well, to describe it. the currency that Joseph was traded for. So if you're saying no, that you, you can't have, use you linguistic know, expressions to familiarize that was the same idea. with an audience, then you, you buried the Quran you, as well. well. You have not provided anything to show The me. same thing you're critiquing the Bible for is in your Quran. Read, read, read the Arabic here. What, what's the currency? I, can read it, but I don't understand. It. Okay, okay, you can read it. What's the currency it says? Dirham, right? Yeah, okay, dirham. But listen, okay, listen. was dirham the historical Jesus. currency at that time? No. Oh. Exactly. No, but you're not. Listen, dirham, yeah, it's, it's, it's a way of, uh, of saying money. It's not. It's, 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 I do you know this, or do you like you make it up on the spot? No, it's a way of it's a way of saying money. So you know about this then? Yes. Okay. But, but, but so what? You know? What's the context of this then? Of that pile. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, show, show me the point. See, see the point. It's the, it's the story. <laughs> I, I didn't memorize the story. It's, it, it's the same story we're talking about. The story no, of Joseph. Okay, That's why you, it's you're, you're jumping topics. Wait, wait, wait. So the, point, the, point, the point is, if you want to say dirham is a general expression for money in Muhammad's time that they can just use, you're saying a linguistic expression can be described in this way to the people to understand. That's what we're saying. But you're saying that ours is an invalid explanation, which invalidates your position as well. <laughs> what on, what on no, earth is no going idea. on? No idea. Oh, there, is that Ali Dawa? It's Ali Dawa, yeah. <laughs> Go follow him for your content. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> perfectly happy to talk with you guys. Fish to fry, yeah? You have bigger fish to fry. Go, go for tell it. it. Tell him to come and My point, okay, so all, the whole point of this was the fact that if we want to know what Isa actually said, we go to the earliest accounts, right? Even at the first page of the Bible, there's contradictions, but you, you want to believe it. The Quran is just full of falsehoods. Huh. Just Name okay, okay. So I made I 18. This is falsehood. It says that uh, a father doesn't discipline his children. What's the context? That's a, literally the, the context is that the Christians the and Jews, the, the Christians and Jews say that like God that. is their father. That's not possible because if God was their father, he wouldn't discipline them because a father doesn't discipline the sons. That's Surah 5, Ayah 18. Why God is not befitting of having sons? No, he's saying that the reason you can know that the Christian Jews are not sons of God is because if they were, God would discipline them. Show me the context. Oh, I don't know. This is Surah Al-Maida, Ayah 18. That's a very strange verse. It's, yeah, and also <laughs> Hebrews 12 uh, destroys okay. it. But anyway, You're talking about but the Jews and the let Christians... Me, let, me, let, me read it. let me read it out loud. But the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his beloved. Say, then why does he punish you for your sins? Rather, you are human beings from among those he has created. Exactly. In other words, that's, that's, a refutation of the fact that they call themselves no, sons no, of God no, 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 
is because he punishes them. That's just the way. A real father it doesn't discipline you, according to the Quran. You're, you're, you're not listening. It, did he not say, that, say then, so this is Allah telling Muhammad to say in response, then why does he punish you for your sins? Because Question mark. They're, because they're transgressing. It's not talking about in a, in a literal So in other words, in other words, you can't have a father if your father disciplines you. Because that's not what fathers do. That is literally what it's saying. That is what it's saying. We've read it multiple times. He just read, he just read the verse. The verse is saying as a refutation to Christians. Yes. This is a polemical verse. It's a polemical verse. It's saying Christians believe God is a father. But if God was a father to Christians, he wouldn't discipline them because fathers don't discipline them. Yes. But that's false. And we know that's false. Fathers do discipline their children. In fact, you would be a terrible father if you didn't discipline your children. So that is an evident false also in the Quran. That, that, I can get more. Do you want more? Five one one six. Let's go to five one one six. I'll get the verse. You you no, give no, me an answer. Stay on this verse first. Let's okay, then you give an answer. answer. Okay, cool. It's talking about uh, what's it called? It says that uh, you said that what's it called? Uh, the Jews and the Christians say yeah. they are the sons of God. Yeah, exactly. Say, O Muhammad. Uh, then why does he? Let me ask you. Is that a literal sense or a metaphor? Tell me. What do you think it is? It's a literal sense. It's not it's literal, literal sense. Yes, it's, it's literal sense. So then, yeah, he's literally not your father no, no, exactly. because he disciplines you. Exactly. It's, it's giving an example why. But that's false logic. No, it's not because God is all Good loving. fathers God, discipline God their loving. sons. God is all loving. Yes, and all just. Says, yeah, if, if, to be loving, you have to be just. Allah to be says, loving, you have to be okay, merciful, Allah, and that does mean disciplining. Can I say something? Allah okay, says, come on then. Allah says, yeah, is that if 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 if, if mankind did not commit sins. He would destroy them all. You want to bring that up? And, 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 and create a new creation. Brother, does that not ring alarm bells God's for you? mercy is contingent on mankind, so God isn't necessary. What? If, so you're saying if mankind never sinned, God would wipe them but out God to display his God attribute doesn't need of mercy. God doesn't need but he wants sinful beings. Yes, so we can repent. He wants people to rebel so against him and blaspheme know. against him. He wants people to be sincere because he knows that we can't he be perfect. Yeah, but wait, and, if, and, and, if and a human being... Let me finish my point, bro. Well, then, I'll be patient. Listen, I'll be patient. He, he wants us... The reason is, he, it's not because he's dependent on us, no. God wants us to sin, yeah? It's because he knows that we're not perfect. If, if God says, yeah, if, there was, if, if mankind... Didn't, uh, didn't commit any sin, he would destroy us all and create a new creation that did commit sin. The reason is, yeah, is because... Is it necessary that he would do that? It's not necessary. It's okay, so he, does, he doesn't do that in all possible world that people... So let's say, let's say, okay, let's say you have possible world X in which everyone exists that doesn't That's sin. Is it reality, anything about no, no, that no. world God is always necessarily going to wipe it out and create new sinners? Yes, I believe it. God okay, says. so then you're falling into a modal collapse where you're basically just saying it's necessary, it's necessary. that Allah creates Who, sinners. Why does it say it's necessary? You're, because you're you, because you just said, you just said that in the event that... He said he people, would. Okay, yeah, but I, I just asked you, in X event, in any possible world, would it be necessary that across all possible worlds God does this action? You said yes. If God, if God wills it, He would do it. Okay, so if something, don't mind what you think. okay, so if something happens across all possible worlds, what is it? It's necessary. necessary. It's necessary if something happens across. Who said, all it's, possible who said it's possible across all possible worlds? And what are these possible you, you worlds? Just, you're we just you're got to the point where you admitted that. Yeah, this is called modality it's called and logic. Possible. logic. No, but did reasoning. God say, did, did God say that He would do it in every possible situation? I just, I just asked He's you. He's talking about us, our, this creation. You don't know about the ill of the The issue I have with that text is that it ultimately ascribes to Allah a motive of wanting blasphemy. Ultimately, huh? I find that to be beneath God. God does not desire His creation to blaspheme. He doesn't he want them to. Sin. 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 In, is sin every sin? It's every sin, right? It's any sin. God said He will forgive every sin except shirk. Except so, 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 that doesn't apply Okay, but, but in this hadith he says, if you did not sin, sin meaning what? Sinless. Right, so that includes blasphemy. Yes? Yes, but, because blasphemy is a sin. Yeah, but that's excluded from that. Because God Why said, is it excluded? Because God said, he said that if you, you forgive any sin, uh, as long as you don't associate partners. Blasphemy isn't necessarily associating partners though, there's other forms. There are other of forms of blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if, I, if I say like an insult to I'm God, about, it's going to be blasphemy shit. Exactly. associating partners. Exactly. I know, but I'm talking about just blasphemy, blasphemy in general, blasphemy. and I'm saying that your God therefore desires a form of blasphemy. Okay, for example, like the Shia, they curse the Sahaba. That's blasphemy. If they're a okay, they right. Can... But Allah would never I'm desire sorry. them to do that, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Because this hadith is saying that if, if you live sinlessly, Allah would just Allah would destroy you until you sinned, which implies he desires no, you're, you're sin. That. You're leaving out the important parts on purpose. What's the important parts? He wants us to sin, right? So we can repent. 
So he does want us to sin. Yes, Brother, it, it doesn't matter if you say afterwards, well, that's really because he wants the after effect. The fact is, he wants you to sin. This is a contrast between the Christian belief and the Islamic belief. We don't think that God has this weird desire for us to sin. He doesn't like somehow be like, oh yes, lots of sin, this is brilliant. In fact, if they didn't sin, I'd just destroy them and remake them until they do sin. God wants to be in communion with people. Are you going to let me answer? Go on. You're, you're talking so much, you won't even let me talk. Go on. Okay, listen. The angels, for example, God created them yeah, but soon. They, they can't sin. Yeah, the angels, they don't, right they, 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 they don't have free will. Yes, the angels don't have free will. So, wait, wait. The, um, all right. All right, you're making a new point. That's my point. But go on then. I'm not making a new point. I'm, I'm, you're bringing a lot of stuff up. But all right, go on. This is adding to that point, okay? Okay. God, God says, yeah, okay, listen. Okay, listen. The angels, for example, they're sinless. They're soon. If we were sinless, yeah, we would be, we wouldn't have the ability to sin. God doesn't want that. God would, if, 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 if we was a masoon, if God created us in heaven, if God created us sinless, yeah, he would have, he wants us, he wants us to be, uh, what's it called, with free will, because anyone that is sinless doesn't have free will. You know this. So hey. the pro Wasn't Adam sinless sin before he sinned? Okay. Would you say that again? Wasn't Adam sinless before he sinned? Yes, sinless. Right, so there were people at some point who were sinless. Yeah, but the difference is that we have free will. Free right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me Go on. Okay, so the difference between us here yeah, and angels is that we're sinless. No, we're not sinless because we have free will. And, and God doesn't want us Do you remember the hadith where Moses basic, so where Adam basically sinless, says the reason why I sinned was you because of the pen? You do not have free will. God right. gave us free will so we can... God gave us free will so we Let can sin. Okay. And we can live according to what we... Wait, wait, wait. Um, is the... Well, yeah. Islam, yeah. without what human beings will sin. Right. Yeah. But Allah desired that human beings would sin. No, he doesn't. Where does it say that? The hadith literally says, if you did not sin, we would have destroyed you until you sinned. Where does it say desire? That, that, that means... Where does it say desire? What, what do you call it? If Allah intentionally destroys people because they don't sin, don't and so he would bring about a new people who would sin, you know he desires reason? sin. Do you know the reason? Yeah, because he wants people to repent after. No, because he wants us to have free will. God gave us free will. If we, if we had no free will, we would be sinless. Yeah, but brother, in the Christian perspective, wait, wait, in the in the Christian in the Christian perspective, we also we also believe in. Well, I don't think as most of you believe in free will, but that's another thing. No, you believe in Al Qaeda. You believe in Al Qaeda. What is this? What is the sixth article of a man? Everything was written before. We accept that. Yes, but we still believe in free will. You is is Qaeda not the, the 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 decree of Allah that is determined from the all before all things? Okay, so you don't have free will. Yes, it's free will. How is it, how are you free if how? Allah has already determined what you will do? Okay, listen, that's the of there. We can't understand it. God, we so an appeal to ignorance. That's literally what determinism is. I mean, yeah, that is determinism. Who are you to comprehend God? Huh? Who are you to comprehend God? Okay, so God determines everything then, according yes, to you. He does. He does. Okay, so you don't have free will. Yes, you do. Could, could you have chosen otherwise? Can I give you an example? Yes, I know, for example, you're gonna rob a shop. I know it, but right. I don't stop you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't have free will. But that's you're in your perspective, Allah makes that happen. Yeah, it's not. It's not just that you know it. It's that God is. Allah both knows it determined. and determines it. Listen, I, have, I don't have the words for it. I, I, I want to explain. It, but no, no, the, the reason why you don't have the words for it. It's, it's because you. this is wrong, I it's a falsehood. I can't comprehend it. But you just said, who are you to know the mind of God? Okay, wait, 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 let, let me, wait, you, see, you, wait, wait, let, the, let me just, let me just, you're the same people what, what's this? You're the same people that believe that God, the man, <laughs> and you said that, what's it called, you said that, who are you to comprehend God? Wait, wait, you're saying, wait, you're, you're, okay. We say, yeah, that God determined everything, and he gave us free will. Okay, if you, if you want us to say why we think God is a man we can accurately describe that without appealing to mystery but since you've appealed to mystery now what you've essentially done is you've opened you have because you've said i cannot comprehend god therefore you cannot apply logical principles to him i'm not saying that i can absolutely comprehend god but there are some things about him at which i can apprehend through okay, the likeness he's left okay, in so his created effects now hang on we do believe in predestination but not in the sense that you're saying to Yes, we, we yes, do, we do believe free will. Wait, 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 wait. Because you don't believe in free will. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. You don't believe it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Al-Qaeda, where is the sixth article of a man? One minute, yeah? Because the Bible says, how can you be pure he who that is born of woman? Somebody that is born of woman, how can he be pure? What's that got to do with free will? This doesn't have anything to do with the free will, bro. Yeah, we're talking about free will right now. Unless you have something on free will, then. 
I'm, I'm, I'm coming because the guy was saying before he said that if you Allah can forgive all sin, accept you make a suit. Same like the Bible. Bible also says if you die against the Holy Spirit, mm. you can never be forgiven. It's blasphemy, the Holy Spirit. But what that is, is the sin of the Pharisees at the time who yeah. so clearly saw the works of Christ and still their hearts were hardened as to where they would deny Christ. If you die in that state of denial as to where you've seen it, then you are going to be not able to be forgiven of that sin. Which is what blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is. That's, that's not like shirk or something like that. But regardless of that, we're back to the point on free will, okay? You believe now, the exact same thing as me. Wait, 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 wait. You, you don't believe in free will. What do you explain? With all due respect. Why are you making images of God? Okay, okay. Did the, Ark of, uh, did the Ark of the Covenant have images? What do you mean? When God... Okay, this is how I know that you've never read the Bible before. What do you mean? In I've that read the Bible. You, you have you read the Bible? Bible. You're I've illiterate. Read, I've read not all of it, but I've read some Okay, that same... Have you read the whole Bible? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I've read the Bible and the Quran. The whole Bible? Yes. Don't let him run, don't let him run. It took me about nine, ten months to read the Bible. It took me three to four months to read the Quran. Okay. Wait, wait. No, don't, don't divert from the point. Don't divert from the point. Why are you laughing? You just quoted the book of Exodus. Are you aware? Don't don't run. Don't run. You're talking to me. Are you aware that Okay. Are you aware that in the same book that you just quoted, God commands the Israelites to build the Ark of the Covenant with images of angels on it, which actually Joshua falls before in the book of Joshua. So, Raven, you, you, think, you think Matthew, Mark and Luke bro, exist at the Mark. time of Moses? Are you, are you, you, you just skipped about like a thousand years, bro. <laughs> Two thousand years. Yeah, you, you skipped a long distance there. You don't know basic biblical concepts. You first need to know this before you can have a better understanding to then critique it. We know the you Quran. Know I've read the Quran. No, you I've don't. read the Quran. I no, study you. the Quran, to be honest with you. No, you don't. That's a lie. I do. Yes, That's I absolutely do. I absolutely do. You absolutely live, do. You live in a Muslim. Bro, right. do you want me to get the books out in my bag that literally are all about the Quran? Okay, I have do you want me to do that? In my, in my house. Do I read it? No. Yeah, but I can literally show you mine right now. My point is, is if you want to try and slander and say I don't know things, I can show you immediately that's false. But you said you knew the Bible, and then we asked you basic things and you didn't know it. You read the Quran, of Muhammad, you be a Muslim, so that's how I know you. you what? What? I, what was that? Everyone that's read the Quran is a Muslim. Everyone that's read the Quran is a Muslim. That's that's Quran for your with a sealed heart, you're not, not with an open heart. You read so now it, you have read the Quran. You can never find so, so now I have read it. Yeah, so exactly. Now so now I have read it. The only way you can know that he hasn't read the Quran is if you have access to his active mental states, which you don't. So you're unable to make that claim. But the way in which we can know that you've not read the Bible is because when you ask basic questions about it, such as did Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John exist at the time of Moses? I'm like not, seriously, I didn't say that. You, you, you implied it by saying we don't know if it was Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John who wrote that. I'll say it's something else. No, that's what I you. Said that is that literally what you the said. The cameras will show, bro. Play that, replay that clip. Replay that, replay. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. <laughs> they can do that thing where they put it in black and white and replay. No, like, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, again, I'll you, explain. Do you think that God? Do you think that's God right there on your chain? That's this God. Is, this is Mary. You're wearing God. This is the mother of God. This okay, is God. Well, it looks this like Jesus. Mary. Okay, it looks like Jesus. But whoever. It's a, it's a woman. Whoever it's really is, not whoever Jesus. is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's God? You need to go to Ox. Okay. Uh, spec yeah. savers, then read the Bible. Okay, okay. spec savers, savers, then read the Bible. So now. So, wait, wait, wait. Now, when you're talking about the book of Exodus, you're talking about the part where it says, do not make any graven images. That's because they, that when Moses just so came down from the mountain, they were worshipping a golden calf. Graven images are images which you place in place of God. No one places images of Mary in place of God. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait. Now, when you read later on in the book of Exodus, God commands them to build the Ark of the Covenant with images of angels on it. So are you going to say that you're condemning the God of the Old Testament now? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm okay, corrupted. good. You don't even believe it. Okay. You, you know it's corrupted. Okay, you but you're, you're, okay, you know? when, when you argue God, it, with me, it doesn't say in your Quran. It doesn't pass carbon date. Your Quran? It doesn't pass any state. It doesn't pass carbon date. What? Carbon date? You don't know what that is? No, I know what carbon dating is. I'm just, that what on earth does that even mean? It doesn't pass carbon date. Do you mean it's not radio carbon dated to a particular century? No. Or what do you mean? Yes. It's not what century? To whenever it was written. I mean, we don't have an entire. We don't have an entire. At the time of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? Yes, exactly. But listen, listen. To what I'm to you. You're laughing, but you know it's true. Well, well, please. Laughing, come on, you come on. You need, you need to find. You know it's true. Okay, the Bible's preserved. Yes, 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 the Bible's preserved. Yes. See, the, the problem. Wait, 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 wait. The problem with your argument you swear is. God, swear on Jesus that the Bible. I swear, I swear on Jesus that the Bible is preserved. Now you're the going problem, help. the problem. You're going help, okay, bro. the problem with. Going help. Wait, 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 wait. The problem. Okay. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. I'm just trying to say something to you. 
problem with your argument is you're saying the Bible cannot be preserved because earliest manuscripts, etc., are not radiocarbon dated to the exact time that they not are wrote. That, not but wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished with the point. Now, if you were to go by this same logic, you would have to say that the entirety. Out verses. Wait, wait, wait. I can deal with that, but we're going to deal with this first. One point at a time. So we're gonna we're gonna destroy this point and then we'll go to the next. Now the problem with this point is now you have to throw out the entirety of antiquity, even the Quran itself. There isn't a complete Quran radiocarbon dated to the time of the Prophet, yes, and the Birmingham yes, Quran is not a complete Quran. Yes, and okay. furthermore, wait, 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 wait. Let me Show finish me my that. statement. The Quran Let me finish my statement. And wait, wait, wait. I'm Whenever still finishing we're my we're statement. Anything, don't be rude. On rocks, on metal, on don't be, don't be rude. I'm still finishing my statement. And if you read other works of antiquity, Aristotle, earliest manuscript, like 1,300 years later, Plato, thousands of years later. But the problem is with your point. Throughout the entirety it's of antiquity, yeah. if you're using that as a point to determine if a text is preserved or not. Okay, any text which is in an, the time of antiquity, talking about er, times in history like the first century, the second century, times prior to that, you would have to throw out all these texts because you're saying that if it's not radiocarbon dated to the exact time in its earliest manuscript, then it's not preserved. Problem with that is there's almost, there's literally no um, work of antiquity that has this. So your lens of skepticism when applied to the rest of history rules out everything. Yeah. That's your problem. Uh, that's a very good point. Just about that, you, you think you have a Quran radio carbon dated? It's the time of Muhammad. Of course. Okay, can you name it? Well, since the Quran was revealed over a period of 23 years, yeah? It sounds like a no. Go on. You let me answer? Uh, I'm going to let you answer, I'm just saying I think it's a no. A period of 23 years. Yeah. Not a single archaeologist. Do you know what those dates are, by the way? Uh, you say over 23 years, so what, what was over when? When did Muhammad become a prophet? When he was still in yeah. Okay, and the, the, what year was that? Are you talking about the year? Yeah, the year. Yeah, 610. Yeah, it's... it's, it's okay. You might as well let him go. So you're talking about 610 to 632? Actually, I don't want to take my word for it. I don't believe you. But listen... Really? Maybe you're true, but I don't know. But given that you know, you already said you don't know. I don't trust you. What, what's the question? Yes, I can just basic stuff about... I'm not ashamed to say I don't know. When, when did Muhammad become a prophet and when did he die? Allah said, if you don't know, go to people that know. When did Muhammad become a prophet? Is that an idol worshipper? Huh? Did you just call me an idol word? 610. 610. 610. Was I right? 610. Was I right? Okay, oh. okay, now it must be that Quranic okay. study I've been doing. Did I don't believe what I when did Muhammad die, anything. right? 632. All right, let's see. You think I would take a word of what you're saying? 8th of June, 632. Okay. Oh, man. You said 610. Maybe no, it's 610 is when he became a prophet. prophet. That's the 23. Oh. Okay, I don't know this. I, I believe. Okay, I believe, right. okay all right. I believe, so when believe. when does this Quran carbon date to? I'm not ashamed to say that I don't know. Okay, well that's so good. I don't know. But, I don't know. But hum, I humble know. yourself to someone who has looked into this particularly. Okay, okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, listen, okay so the a single archaeologist in history has disputed the preservation of the Quran. Name me one person. Just, okay. You believe as a Muslim the Quran is perfectly preserved. Letter for letter, word for word, dot for dot. Okay, scholars. Okay, yeah. Well, critical scholars of all fields have at times critiqued that because it's no, a very. Show me one. Um, give me one proof. Give you one. Okay, Dr. Robert Kerr. Okay, Dr. Patricia Krohn, Dr. Say? Michael Cook, what, 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 Dr. Fred Donner. What was he basing? I can literally just list names okay, for you. What was he basing? What was, what, 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 from different areas. I've just I just quoted you about four or five okay, different what, scholars what that are critical in different areas, ranging from Islamic okay, studies to uh, the let Quranic answer, manuscripts let, let to Islamic history to Arabic to Aramaic. Like you go on and on. Okay, okay, cool. Right. I, I, I listen to you, I listen to me. Great. Every single verse in the Quran here yeah, yeah. can be traced back to the time of Muhammad. Every single one. No, it can't. Yes, it can. So why is the Qur'an in doubt? Huh? Do you know what the Qur'an is? The Qur'an. The Qur'an. Qur There are different readings that's, of recitations. That's, that's nothing to do with it, bro. Yes, it is. It is. How? Tell me. That's why there's disagreements. That's why you have oh ten of them. God. You're saying that, how many that's how many readings of your Quran do you have oh. in Arabic? Said every single Quran, every single Quran. Every single Quran, because yes, there are no, Qurans. No, there's not. There's one. Quran. Yes, there is. There's there ten. Is. Quran, there's ten. You're, you're just talking can you can you Google okay. for me? Yeah, Google uh, uh, Google the ten killer arts. By Doctor Solomon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see. Okay, my friend, you need to know this. <laughs> the same thing. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. All right, this is the British translation of the ten killer arts of the Noble Quran. Look, look, bro. The What do you mean? He knows. He knows. He's a wise guy. Are you Muslim? <laughs> it's a Muslim. Nah, it's, it's, nah, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Tell He's me. a Buddhist. <laughs> no, because obviously yeah, it's, it's, it's a Buki area. I don't know if you believe anything. So here's one of the variants. This is uh, Surah uh, Yunus, Surah 10, Ayah 16. Okay, I'll ask. I'll ask. Okay. You, well, he'll tell. He'll just agree with what this is. 
He might have an explanation no, no, for this, no, no, but he will no, agree no, with. Ask him first. Okay. No, I don't know, but I need to ask. I need to. That's ask fine, him. but let me explain to you what this no, is. I don't want to you ask can then ask him, ask and him. you can. That's fine, but listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. This comes from someone who was uh, a head of a Dawa Institute in Cairo, in Egypt, okay. called the Bridges Foundation. Yeah, he's a Muslim, and he has a team of people who know Arabic who translated the ten different kala, the ten different uh, canonized Qurans, plural in Arabic. They differ. No, brother, that's not true. Did Muhammad say there was only one Quran? Yes. Did he not say the Quran was revealed in seven different uh, arufs? I'll pull up the hadith what? right now. Did Muhammad in Sahih Hadith say the Quran was revealed in is, seven is different arufs? Is that the Quran many? Both. Wait, wait. Yes, is that the Quran many? Yes. That because they differed. Many. That because they differed. Yes. We don't believe yeah, that there are multiple well. canonized Bibles. We don't believe that. Okay, so we don't believe that. Sorry, three, two, one, nine. No, we don't. Yes. Okay, what, show, me, show me the many Bibles yes. that all come from the same... If you, if you read the King James Version... All right, that's, a, that's an English translation. Yeah, you that's an English it. translation. All right, all right, I'm I got, talking about I got, Arabic. Yeah, look, look, yeah. I got the Hadith for you here. Yeah, let's right. read the Hadith. Read the Hadith. There you go, man. Read it on yeah, my phone. What, Bible, that, what Bible, does that say? Do you want to read it out loud? Let me, I can't see it from you. Allah's messenger, messenger said, Gabriel, read, read the Quran to me in a way, in one way, one you know dialect. That, yes. And I continued asking him to read it in different ways till he read it in seven different yeah, what ways. Does mean? What does mean? What does mean? If you it means there are seven different ways of you, reciting the Quran. Yeah, give me two examples. Okay, what? Well, uh, have some wash. Well, have some wash. In Surah Fatiha, Ayah 4. Rahman, Rahim. Can you read different way? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Can you read different way? So, in your Malik Hiri Yom yes, can you king or Malik? owner. And there are, different different ads, there are different color ads that say different things. There's no different. When you yes, say there is. Malik and Mali, yeah. what yeah, accent? He's about you to cannot show you, write bro. accent. He, he's going to show of you. Of course. And wait, the reason. There you are. In red, the there is a variant yeah. there. What does that say? What does it say? He said what? What does that read? That footnote? No, you read, you read. What does it say? I know, you read. King, I see. I don't have my glasses. of the day read. of recompense. Your yeah. master. It's oh. In the verse, so some read it as king, some read it as master. If I read my book, they said, God so loved the world, he sent his begotten son. Mm -hmm. If you read again, God so loved the world, he sent his only son. Mm -hmm. so it's not the same. Mm -hmm. We can find that, this that's just a translation. translation. You just translate it. Word, right, then I, I'm going to point to you all the different translations of English, first, uh, of the Quran in five, English. Seven, there's mm -hmm. three that uh -huh. is in heaven. Uh -huh. You can see it. Ah. Yes, so does that refute see. the Bible? Yes. Okay, so do you know that Surah 9, so yes. Al-Tawbah Ayah 85, is not in the earliest manuscript? Yeah. Which, which manuscript? The earliest manuscript, is, in terms of radiocarbon dating, has that missing. Do they have proof? It's missing. Where? You can so Google it. It's in the Sinai manuscript. I say, show me. It's in the Sinai manuscript. Yeah. We don't have that. What we have that? We do, we do have the Sinai manuscript. We do have it. We if have the John, manuscript. Even John chapter 11, talking of a prostitute, it's not on the original Wait, this manuscript. Is yes, this is just a what This is a what aboutism. What aboutism? We know there are changes yes. in the Quran. We no, know. No yes, we absolutely do. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, 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 we are talking about the Quran. Are we talking about the Quran? Well, defend the Quran, and once you're defending the Quran, you can talk about the Bible. But otherwise, you can't do it. Because the Quran has not been perfectly preserved. Yeah, your book is in Greek. Was Jesus speaking Greek? Which Greek? Did Jesus speak Old Arabic? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Testament. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. Old Testament is Hebrew. Wait, wait. I'm going to no, no, bury no, your I'm claim. I'm going to bury your claim. New Testament. Wait, wait, New wait, Testament. Wait, wait, brother, brother. Which language is Jesus speaking? I have an answer to you, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah. Firstly, Jesus was multilingual. He yeah. had to speak Greek because he spoke to Pontius Pilate in the Bible. The context of the Bible is proof. Matthew chapter 17. Okay, you believe the Bible is perfectly preserved. Yeah. Okay. I believe the message has been perfectly preserved. What language did the Romans speak? You believe it's perfectly preserved. The message. But you don't what? believe the Quran what? is perfectly I don't believe the text is perfectly preserved, no. I'm, I'm asking you the question. I just have, I just have. There you are, see, not. That word not is not there in certain Kala'at. Like Al-Bazri, who studied from Ibn Kathir. He was the student of Ibn Kathir. And... Bro, I've spoken to Arabic scholars. You have to talk to everyone for an answer. The meanings I have to you. The answer is multiple. See that word not? That word not is not there. What happens if you take the word not out of a sentence. Where is, where, which word? Which which word? Spoke the to word not. That's because, because the meanings are interchangeable. And he would not have informed you. So if I take the word not out, he and he would have informed you. Literally the opposite. How are they interchangeable? The word not can't be interchangeable. Okay, okay. I have not come to speaker's corner. I have come to speaker's corner. Am I saying the same thing? It's the same verse. It's literally the same verse in different Arabic. Bro, it's the same verse in different Arabic. And this is Dr. Fadel Soliman. We gave you we gave you a scholarly source and we showed you in real time. This argument varies the Bible because you need to go find that guy. Hello.
Of the Quran? There's at least 10. In Arabic. Oh, no, Arabic, yeah. What? So I can't hear you. Non Arabic versions? Arabic. They're all Arabic. No, I mean differences in the text. No, they're different, uh, different recitations of the Quran according to different teachers.